better give me some more, Rick. Hey, but y'all stand to your feet this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Okay. Yeah, let me turn me up real loud while I say this one. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. Children are excused to children's church. Let's give them a hand as they go. That's an inside joke that we have going on here. Amen. devil is a lie. Amen. That's better. Hallelujah. Well, now, y'all ready now? Give the Lord a hand praise. Well, I'm, you know, well, I'm, hold up. I'm glad this is not a sports team where I would have to depend on y'all. <laughs> to support me being my fans. Amen. There you go. Bend on down, Sister Wood. Bend on down. I know it's kind of rough. Amen. I thought you, was doing the, thought you were doing the limbo there for a minute. Amen. Amen. Well, look at, look at a neighbor this morning and tell him I'm glad I came. Amen. Now look on the other side and say, I'm glad, I'm glad you came. Amen. If you're glad to be here now, if you're glad to be here, put your hands together. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, you can be seated if you can on this morning. Amen. I am so glad to be here. Uh, as always, I want to give a pitch for Sunday school. Well, why are you always talking about Sunday school? Well, because it's Sunday school. Amen. We get to go to school to learn how to be a disciple of God and learn how to live the lifestyle that God has indicated that we ought to live. This morning, I, I won't be long. I, I, I want to share with you um, something today that Irvin touched on a little bit on Wednesday. And, and I'm grateful for that. How many people are here Wednesday night? Amen. How many people enjoyed Wednesday night? I know I got a, I got a real thrill. Amen. It was almost like the Furious Nine. Amen. I, I got a real thrill from Wednesday night because he talked about something that I believe if you don't have a firm foundation about, then you can't live the life that God commanded you to live. And Irvin touched on a cliche that people have been saying in church for a long time and it gets you know and it just becomes a cliche but as he mentioned on Wednesday night do you really believe what you say and that becomes the whole anthem in a church service do you believe what you say on Sunday morning or do you just go through the hoops and, and all the rituals about it just being Sunday 
because most of us have not learned to separate our Sunday walk from our Monday through Saturday walk. And how many people know it's supposed to be the same walk? Oh, come on now. I said it's supposed to be the same walk. But a lot of us are, you know, they even had, back in my day, they had a thing where they called Sunday go to meeting clothes. In other words, they had some clothes you just wore on Sunday. You, you better not wear them clothes Monday through Saturday. And, and some of us have, have allowed that to translate over into our lifestyle and that cer certain things you do on a Sunday, you do in church that you just don't do Monday through Saturday. Can I get a witness? Oh, come on, you know, in here you're on your, you're on your best behavior in here. When in essence, it shouldn't be any different in here than it is out there. Now, if you got a problem with what I'm about to say today, you can do the little old church thing, put your hand up and say goodbye, because I probably will step on some toes this morning. But look at your neighbor and say, hush, puppy. Yeah, if I step on your hush puppies this morning, just say, hush, puppy, because this one, you know, it might, it's going to be a little tight this morning. So I want you to go to Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Psalm 34. All right. If you got it, say I got it. Man, you know, if you got a phone app, uh, make sure you get that app where it got you turning pages like. Because I believe some of y'all faking me out. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. If you got Psalm 34, I'll be beginning with verse 1, and it reads like this. I will bless the Lord. Come on, y'all finish that one for me. Okay, let, let's get something straight. Loosen up. Loosen up. Because you can't get nothing tight. Now, let me do that again. I will bless the Lord. Now, notice it didn't just say on Sunday. He said at all times. And see the word all is, yeah, there's some, yeah, there is something flying around here. There is something about all that's all inclusive. Now I just want to separate some of them times this morning. Because again, I believe that a lot of us as believers, we have certain times when we think we're supposed to praise God. And then certain times you're supposed to cry. I will bless the Lord. Now that means whether you're in trouble, out of trouble, going in trouble, coming out of trouble, in the middle of trouble, whatever, whatever time it is, the Bible says, I will bless the Lord. Now look at the, last, the second part of that verse. It says this, his praise shall continually be, y'all help me. Let me do that again because I don't think y'all caught up.